when he referred to some illegal immigrants as rapists, that that bothered people, didn't bother people? What was your reaction to that, or did you not even really notice it? It didn't bother me. I didn't know. It didn't bother me. Well, at least it didn't, didn't bother, bother. It didn't bother, didn't bother me. me. He said he'll put a wall down on the southern border. Right. I when you talk that. about common sense, that's the common sense thing to do. I knew that he was a wealthy, successful man, and I remember asking my mother if I could write him a letter to ask him how he made his money so that I could do it too. <laughs> even as a very young kid, the word Trump sort of meant rich to you. It meant success. Success. I think he's a successful person. He's successful. I want to be a billionaire. How can I begrudge him that? He worked hard. But let's go ahead. Ask me about a cup. Okay. Trump hotels and casinos filed for bankruptcy protection three times in six years. Okay. Let me explain it to you. Very simple. Isn't that a I failure? Not really. I mean, look, it worked out very well for me. It was very successful. I then levered the company. I took it public, so I had a, a relatively small piece of the company, and what happened is Philadelphia. Wait a second, you were chairman of the board. Excuse me. You were chairman of the board. Uh, I was chairman, but I didn't run the company. I had nothing to do with running the company. Management ran. You were the paid company. two million dollars a year. Excuse me. I didn't run the company. I'm just telling you. So what were you paid two million dollars something. a year for? Excuse me. Uh, because of my genius, okay. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, three seventeen. That's the whole ball game. And now they're beating us economically. They are not our friend. And these are the best and the finest. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems. And they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. Uh, I can just say this. More people are in this country right now illegally than ever before. I will build a better wall, and I'll build it for cheaper, and Mexico will pay, if that's your next question. Yeah. If the state of Hawaii says this is official, he was born in Hawaii on this date, here it is, why do you deny that? A lot of people do not think it was an authentic certificate. How can you a say that people, if this... If you this... won't report it, Wolf, but many people do not think it was authentic. His mother was not in the hospital. There were many other things that came out, and frankly, if you would report it accurately, I think you'd probably get better ratings than you're getting, which are pretty small. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I had the, oh, maybe that's what I said. The biggest problem we have today is nuclear, nuclear proliferation, and having some maniac, having some madman go out and get a nuclear weapon. That's, in my opinion, that is the single biggest problem that our country uh, faces. Uh, of the right three now. legs of the triad, though, do you have a priority? Because I want to go to Senator Rubio well, I, after I think, that. And I ask think him. to me, Luke, nuclear is just the, the power, the devastation is very important to me. Of Libya? I was, I never discussed that subject. I was in favor of Libya. We would be so much better off if Gaddafi were in charge right now. If these politicians went to the beach and didn't do a thing, and we had Saddam Hussein, and if we had Gaddafi in charge, instead of having terrorism all over the place, would be, at least they killed terrorists, all right? Gaddafi in Libya is killing thousands of people. Nobody knows how bad it is. And we're sitting around, we have soldiers all over the Middle East, and we're not bringing them in to stop this horrible carnage. And that's what it is. It's a carnage. Brandy came in here, she got down on her knees and said, I passionately want to do this. I, at this point, am the team chooser, not the team leader Excuse yet. Excuse me, you dropped to your knees. Yes. And begged to do this. And I said, I'm looking around the room. And it must be a right. pretty picture you dropped John to your knees. John and Dennis thought I should be. Omarosa said. Somebody should run against John McCain, who has been, you know, in my opinion, not so hot. And I supported him. I supported him for president. I raised a million dollars for him. It's a lot of money. I supported him. He lost. He let us down. But, you know, he lost. So I never liked him as much after that, because I don't like losers. <laughs> but, but, Frank, Frank, let me get hero. to it. He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a, a war He's hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. Five and a half years. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. 
Trump claims Judge Gonzalo Curiel, an American citizen born in Indiana, is biased against him because the judge's parents are from Mexico. If you are saying he can't do his job because of his race, is that not the definition of racism? No, I don't think so at all. This judge is giving us unfair rulings. Now I say why. Well, I want to, I'm building a wall, okay? And it's a wall between Mexico, not another country. But he's, not, my, he's not from Mexico. In my opinion. He's from Indiana. He is he's Mexican, Mexican heritage, and he's very proud of it. I'll give you an example. So one of my guys, who's married to a Jewish woman, this is a very fine person, Dan Scavino. He put out a tweet talking about crooked Hillary Clinton. And on the tweet was a star. It's a star. Like a star. And I said, oh, because when I looked at it, I didn't think anything. All of a sudden, it turned out to be in the minds of the press only, because it could have been a sheriff's star, could have been a regular star. My boy comes home from school, Barry. He draws stars off the press. I never said, oh, that's a star of David Barry, don't talk. Is he helping you? Is he advising you? Well, I don't want to comment, but he's been a friend of mine for a long time, and I can tell you that some of the women that are complaining, I know how much he's helped them, and even recently, and when they write books that are fairly recently released, and they say wonderful things about him, and now all of a sudden they're saying these horrible things about him, it's very sad because he's a very good person. I've always found him to be just a very, very good person. No, he doesn't know that. I saw him. He was, uh, you know, very emotional and probably looked like uh, a nice guy to me. His wife, uh, if you look at his wife, she was standing there. She had nothing to say. She probably, maybe she wasn't allowed to have anything to say. You tell me, but plenty of people have written that. Uh, she, uh, she was extremely quiet and it looked like she had nothing to say. A lot of people have said that. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. By the way, and if she gets to pick, if she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But 